that's what leads me to, and, and again, if you're wondering, act, man, I fuck with you. I don't really fuck with them other bums, but I'm round with you and I like clowning them. But why are we always clowning them? We had two bums, Ruri and Mealy Maul, who, when my name came up, they tried to drive home narratives about me that I was a cokehead. I've never taken any, I've, truth be told, I've never even smoked. Like, like, nigga, I've never vaped. I've never done nothing. You know what I mean? We smoke in an invisible Ruri pack. You know what I mean? But I put the Ruri pack in the Henny. Fuck it. I only drink. But at one point, he felt it was necessary. And I'm going to tell you why I'm a, I need to. Like, you see, for a white boy, he's white. Or a binder, something like that. If he's a cokehead, like, there's a video of G-Eazy doing coke. He don't even got to put out a statement. Like, we assume these white niggas be doing coke. Somebody who's trying to be a voice in culture, like myself, being accused of being a cokehead, and I'm black, and not that liked by certain people, okay, stop playing with me. So he th tried to throw out that I was a cokehead. Okay, egregious. He tried to speak on, and this is where I'm going to really start this whole thing. This bum tried to speak on my business acumen. Chat, I want to do a public survey right now. Is it clear to anybody with eyes, ears, and even quarter of a brain that academics business acumen is about a hundred times anybody that they have been in vicinity with? All I hear about them is bitching, complaining, not getting enough. Oh, we don't know what's going on. With me, all you keep seeing is foreign cars, mansions, or pay for cash. I want to make it, and I'm going to drive it. I'm going to drive this narrative fucking home. Okay? And by the way, if for some people, this is me going into the next portion of my, of, of, of my career. I'm not going to be seen like you niggas like some little nigga in a basement. I'm the boss that you niggas can never be. Because the confusions that y'all have, I've never had. So, you know, uh, I, I remember... Uh, and again, I've told the story already. They were critical that they said they pretty much called me an idiot that I didn't follow Joe Button blindly to um to revolt. And I told y'all why I said a company doesn't need my services that much if they're hitting up Joe for me. Joe cannot never negotiate for me. I love Joe Button. He got a whole different manager. I got people I pay that that that, that manage my situations. I got a whole different company. That, like, I was rich when I met Joe. I wasn't a bum-ass nigga, homeless, looking like Ruri with holes in his T-shirt. I met the nigga at Joe's house. He was unemployed. Nigga was down to do anything. The nigga might have been down to shine my shoes. So when I seen him speaking on business acumen and me knowing what's really going on, it, 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 it rubbed me the wrong way. And this is why, I, actually, ultimately, I'm here. Anyway, I've been telling y'all, the... The reason why I don't like with those two bum ass niggas, they have never been in the position to talk like how they're talking. Remember, go back to Joe talking about Spotify, Joe talking about Complex. Them niggas were talking like they were bosses themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Equity, 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 equity. Uh, we ain't gonna give Spotify this. But Spotify don't even talk to y'all niggas. <laughs> Spotify don't even care about you niggas. Spotify, like, their name is not even on a contract with Spotify. They only they dealt with Joe. So quickly I knew what the dynamic was. They were workers. But, of course, they wanted to change around the narrative this and third. I'm going to show you abundantly clear. And, by the way, again, I'm, I'm first and foremost, I see some people say, oh, Ak is going to be tight. They're back. Was I not the one who said they're going to come back before the first because they have rent to pay? Did I not say that? Don't I get no credit? These are two bums. Millie Mom been sucking dick from like since he was born. He was actually pre-cum. I don't know how he's walking. And then the other nigga like, come on, bro. Like I told you, they're going to get back before the first. Rent is due on the first. They're back. And I'm glad that they're actually back. Okay. Also, I think it's a humbling experience for them. And this is why I feel like the ultimate victory is right here. The ultimate victory is right here. 
Because they know the shit they were talking before is false. They look stupid. Now, the next time when conversations come up where they could be talking about business, they're probably going to be like, yo, if we say that, we're going to look like hypocrites. Everybody's seen what happened since. Everybody's seen what happened. They had to return. Anyway, they were upset that I called them workers. They were trying to say how they were part owners. Let's just let's just group think on some public shit. If 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 three of us own a business and we're all bosses, we're not allowing one nigga to just rename it and say it's his shit. It's the Joe Bun podcast. So I'm watching these two like, you know, retards talk to Joe and be like, yo, who gave you the permission to tell me to go home? And I'm like, nigga, it's the Joe Budden podcast. Let me say it again. It's the Joe Budden podcast. Now, again, I don't I, like I'm not going to. Well, I probably will spend some time on this because this is hilarious. I'm only here to shut them niggas up permanently when it comes to boss talk. Y'all niggas need to listen. I don't care. You could, if you came from Twitter or some other place, you, yeah, you nigga, you probably don't like me. It's cool. But if you want to send a nigga talk about business, listen to Ak. Ak is doing everything them niggas is talking about. Them niggas is just losers. You get me? You can learn game from even a nigga you don't like. So I just want to get. Certain niggas who be talking certain shit, you got to remove them from the conversation because they really don't belong in there. So, and I won't, get, actually I won't. Actually I won't. They went back to work, but let me just prove my point once and for all. Chat, was I not the first person who said these niggas are workers? Y'all should not listen to them about Spotify and other things. Yes or no? Yes or no? Spam in the comment section. I'm talking to y'all straight up. Yes or no? Now, let me prove my point, and you're hearing it from their mouths. By the way, how ironic they went back and had to publicly get shamed again. Joe was shitting on them niggas, bro. Shitting on them like, yo, they don't owe y'all shit. Like, the fuck is up with y'all? You gonna have you gonna have a different type of conversation with your boss when your boss just replaced you, and he found out he could do it without you. Yeah, Joe don't owe y'all shit, nigga. Watch this. I'm going to just prove all my points. All my points. I said they were workers. They were upset at that. A lot of fallout. Could we Could we get the proof that they're workers? All right, cool. Remember, they're like, yo, we're like, you know, we're equity partners, this, that, and ter the third. You tell me 